So I wanted to talk about this session a little bit and about how to tweak greens um, when you apply presets. So this session, oops, that's my boudoir session. This session, um, I'm just gonna show you, um, was around 6.30 or so. And there was not really sunlight. And also, this is not a real couple. Um, she's one of my models and this is a male model friend of hers who's trying to get into modeling and so what I actually wanted to do as couple couple I couldn't do because I mean I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable um, so we just kept it like this with a little bit of emotion I tried to put a little bit of emotion in the photos by having them close their eyes and, um, but they are not really, um, they're not really doing much with each other. Here, this is the same photo right here. Um, I just, you know, got a little bit closer and don't worry, I put different presets on. Let's cut this again. And then I shot the same pose from another angle and from further away. So this might be a good photo um, to show you the greens or maybe this one. All right, let's do this one. Let's reset the photo. So this is the original right here. And let me turn up the exposure so you can see what this looks like. So if I apply my presets, you will see exactly here what they do to the greens, okay? It's the new Embrace collection and I wanna show you that there are some presets that desaturate the greens and some presets presets that keep the greens. But you might like a preset, like let's say you might like a skin tone and the colors, but you don't like the greens. So you can always change the greens around, yeah? But let's go through the presets first. Embrace two. This was embrace one, this is embrace two. You can see it has greens in it. And Embrace three, embrace four, five, load a little bit quicker, five, six, seven. So you can see it's a good mix of moody, contrasty, desaturated and saturated, and also grainy and creamy and warm and cool tones. Let me show this one. Turn up the exposure here a little bit. That was 10. And also, as you can see, these presets work well with darker skin tones and they also work well with lighter skin tones, which I will show you another time. But this is not about skin tones, it's about green, but I'm still going through the through these presets, um, it was 14. If you see this happening, just turn out the shadows. That will do it. 15. Now oh, my computer is hanging. So we are getting in the darker versions, to the darker versions here. I really like this one. 16. So let's go, instead of going on like that, let's go to a green one, a very green one, and let's desaturate the green because I really like the skin tone here. I actually do also like the greens, but we want to, we want to play with the greens. So things you can do. You can, for example, change your white balance. For example, it will also change the green. But I like it better the way I have shot it. Then I have white balance <clears throat> presets here to tone your photos even further, which you can apply afterwards on a photo. Okay, so let's go back to my original. There we go. I like to change my green tones. So there we have the saturation. The saturation will determine how saturated 
your greens are if you want them really bright or if you want them gone yeah but in order to change your greens you must play with all of these things hue saturation and luminance the luminance is the lightness and the darkness of a color okay the saturation takes away the color and the hue tells you if you want it more bluish or more yellowish okay has different tones in it so you can start playing with these greens let's say I want to take away the screen but not too much so I'm desaturating the screen but I don't like that it's so bright so I'm going to turn down the luminance because I don't like the lightness of the green then I'm going into my hue let's say I don't like the screen tone I want it more bluish more filmish looking I'm going up in the hue or I want it more of a yellow tone I'm going all the way down so but let's go back to a normal green let's say because green always also has some yellow in it let's see what, we, what happens if we turn up the yellow saturation you can tell how yellow, how neon yellow the green gets. So I always turn on the saturation in my greens because I'm not into it. Then you can determine what kind of tone you want in your greens too by playing with your yellows. And the luminance also plays a part in your greens. So what you do is you play with all of these factors, yellows and greens, to, in order to change your greens. It's like a really mood, moody photo. You turn it all the way down, the luminance down to, like this. Turn the hue down to, to make it a little bit more yellowish, maybe not. And turn on the yellows. Do you see how this whole photo is changing? The whole vibe of it. So this is what you can do with your greens, but you can also change your greens like this. Let's reset this whole photo again and go on Embrace 2. Turn up the exposure. And you can also change your greens by, oh, what am I doing? by using the targeting adjustment tool. So I'm clicking on this. Let's click on saturation first. Click, drag, click, and drag down or up. And you see the greens are changing and you see right here what colors are in your green and these colors are also changing. Let's look again. Okay. Good, now let's turn down the saturation of the green just a little bit. Then we click on hue, doing the same thing, click and drag. And you see in the panel, which colors are changing. Then we go to luminance and see as only the green is changing. It's making it darker or brighter. So this is how you can change a preset's color or any color um, also without a preset. Let's take a really moody preset from the set and see if we can change this green actually into a brighter green. Let's turn down the contrast a little bit. Let's make this green a little bit brighter. Let's go and play right with that targeting adjustment tool. Make the green a little bit brighter. The hue, make the green a little bit brighter. The luminance, makes the green a little bit brighter. And then you can go and where's the green? Play with your greens right here. Make it brighter. Same thing. Luminance up or down. This is how you change one color. This is how you can play with the greens in your presets. So let's say you have a skin tone that you really love 
and you want to keep it, you like the tones, but you don't like the greens, this is how you can change your greens. All right, thanks for watching.